Scientists in the country have developed eco-friendly pest management solutions to contain the spread of fall army worms in the country. Very own Dennis Etienne has more on this week's Smart Farm. At the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization Field Station at Kiboko, Makwini County, technologies to control the devastating fall armyworm are in the offing. The project is fronted by the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, CIMIT, Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, CALRO, International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology, ICIPE, and Center for Agriculture and Bioscience International, CAB. Kenya has uh, started uh, testing these fall armyworm tolerant varieties that have been developed by CIMIT. Uh, these are naturally available resistance. This is, there is nothing transgenic about it. This naturally available resistance comes from uh, Mexican germplasm or Cuban germplasm. And they have been systematically transferred into Africa adopted genetic backgrounds. <laughs> Na wakati wa zamani tulikuwa tunapata 8 and 90. Kwa hivyo eh hata njaa venye imeshaingililia wa Kenya. Jua ikiwa imewaka sana, huyo mdudu ni number 1, alafu jua namba ya pili. The eco-friendly pest management solutions, which are currently on a trial phase, are mainly use of resistant varieties, biopesticides and related biological control methods. The purpose of today that is to make you happy. The fall armyworm pest was first detected in Kenya in 2016 and quickly spread to various parts. Farmers suffered losses as the pest invaded their farms, leaving destruction in their wake. Uh, annually, we experience losses of up to 10%. So with these uh, new technologies on integrated pest management, the different tactics will reduce... Um, the amount of uh, crop we lose annually and also reduce the amount of pesticides we normally use. Here, scientists are testing to establish the resistance of maize to the fall armyworm tropical pests and diseases. We have brought technologies such as uh, the push-pull technology, which is the combination of maize intercrop with desmodium and brachiaria, which has been so shown to be uh, managing the pest up to 80% reduction of damage. We have also brought another technology which is about maize legume intercropping. That is also a good technology because in places where desmodium is not available, people can plant edible legumes like bean, groundnut, soya, all those. When you plant them together with the maize, they also have the ability to reduce the damage. Uh, these technologies, they'll be integrated into very effective uh, packages that can be recommended for farmers to use. Already, 80 farmers across the country have been enlisted in the validation of this project to scale up extension services and ensure that agronomic practices are adhered to. Hopefully very soon, uh, by before the end of this year, we will hear the good news of uh, uh, the government of Kenya uh, releasing some of, if not all the three, at least two or three of these uh, fall armyworm tolerant hybrids. And then the seed will be available for the farming communities from next year. Kenda ndiyo tupande maharagwe, tuchanganye pamoja na mahinti. Ndiyo tuone resorts zao kwa umu zimo. Ndiyo next, tujue venye wakituletea. Tue ni kama hakuna hawa wadudu, wametutabisha sana. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.